Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so yesterday we talked about a few things. We talked about how this is a market that's been trading between the upper band and the middle band, how I expected that the market did not owe us any more than a move to middle band, and that if the bears did get ahead of themselves and we moved straight down to middle band, that I would expect the dip buyers to come in and buy that middle band test. That's all played out very nicely, uh, both yesterday afternoon and so far uh, this morning. Our low from yesterday uh, is down at uh, 52.75. Globex high is 63.75. So it's done a very solid 10-11 handle rejection off of the middle band. Looking at today, so we got exactly what we were looking for. What happens next? If you're a bear, you have to turn this right back around off the open, break below middle band, which is trading about 52.68 today, and close below middle band today. If you fail to do that, especially if you get a close above the 69 area, then essentially what's going to happen here is we're going to go ahead and go back to new highs. Why? Because this is a market that wants to trade between the upper band and the middle band. And it's going to continue to do that until it doesn't. So right now, it's, you know, this is a very predictable situation. And I've said before, said it yesterday, if this is what the market wants to do for the summer, that's great. It's a very nice trading market. It's not a good ideological market, not a good perma bull market, it's not a good perma bear market for sure. But it's a very nice trading market if you can keep your eye on the ball and understand where we are in the big picture. So where are we in the big picture now? We tested middle band yesterday. It's been a successful test. It's been rejected by 10 handles. Who, who takes today? Do the bulls follow through? If we do, then the plan is in place. We are going back to upper band. When I told you guys that 1960 didn't have a chance, I'm telling you right now, if the bulls follow through today, 1978 quarter doesn't have a chance. It's going to get broken. If the bears turn it around today, if they hold what were Wednesday's highs at 64 half, which we identified as a key level to be broken yesterday and close below, if they establish that band as resistance, break below middle band and close below middle band, then the bears are in control. That kind of a close is going to start to roll the middle band over. And the ability to roll the middle band over would yield the kind of trading that we saw in the first quarter of 2014, which was very two-sided. So today's an important day. Who has the ability to follow through? Okay, everybody have a good one. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Come check out the website. Come check out the chat room. Come trade upper band to, to lower band with us. Short 78. Now we're long 57. Come check it out. I will uh, be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.